everyone. Welcome to Quit Targa West for 2015, the 11th running of this great event. Thursday lunchtime, we're in the centre of the city. Overcast conditions, been horrible weather leading up. We're hoping it holds off for four fabulous days of Targa activities in and around Perth. Great chance for us to catch up with the teams and the crew, see how they're feeling before they head out to the first stages this afternoon. We're heading out to Wanneroo Raceway and then we're going to the night stage, back by popular demand in the Malaga industrial area. Going to be a fascinating four days of Targa. Can't wait to bring it to you. Crowd favourite Jim Richards, great to have you back at Quick Targa West, uh, an event you love doing as well. No, certainly do. I, I really like the difference in roads between here and, say, Tassie. They are different, as you know, but I enjoy them. And uh, we come here each year to support Shannon's, and, uh, and one of the reasons is we really enjoy it. Now, you're a two-time winner. I know you're back in the Cayman S, but you've got a category you're still chasing with this car, though, isn't there? Well, we bought the car for the showroom category, uh, but unfortunately they cancelled that class. <laughs> <laughs> I think they knew you were going to rock up in your Porsche, probably. But. Yeah, no, but we're happy to promote the Cayman. It's, a, it's, a, it's sort of one of the entry-level Porsches. We've always promoted the top of the range. Well, now we're sort of trying to promote the you know, bottom of the range, you might say. Bob Fisher, we're at the very oh, start of the rally. Yes. The bonnet's up, though. Why is that? What's going on? My co-driver forgot to put the bloody Thermo fan on. <laughs> So the old girl got a little bit hot, did it? Yeah, no, she's all right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, everything's good. I yeah. started to worry for you, mate. The start of four big days and you're ready to bond it up. But uh, you're looking forward to this, no doubt, as usual? Absolutely, yes, of course. We had a good run in Targa Tassie. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping to do good things here, although the opposition looks a bit strong. Roderick, welcome back, mate. The fluoro car's back out there. Another tilt at this event. Another tilt, yeah, another year. So hopefully go better than last year. We uh, had a bit of an upset on a roundabout, so <laughs> we're not going to uh, do the same thing this year. Apart from the odd fix of a few wheels and maybe a few damaged arm, what else have you been doing on this car in between time? Um, we haven't really done any like massive development uh, that we've done years before. It's just kind of fixing up and tidying up bits and pieces. So yeah, yeah, that's going good. That's good. How are you feeling now, mate? Start of a rally. Most people are pretty nervous. How are the butterflies go? Uh, yeah, well, I was feeling a, a little bit better earlier on today, but uh, we just got a bit nervous now only because it's starting to get a bit warm. So the engine-wise, anyway. So yeah, mate. Yeah. Well, it starts this afternoon, so make sure you keep those in check, and we'll see you out there. We will do. Cheers. Pete Major, back in, former winner. How's it all feeling at the moment? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, as the past three years, just the last minute decision <laughs> to run. So, worked all the last sort of week with the help of Kate at Racing on Amps to get the car ready. So, yeah, should be good. But I love it. It's something different. Do a lot of circuit racing and this just, you know, having another person in the car and four days, it's, you know, um, a really good event and I love doing it. Now, look, I would put you as short price favourite, but as you know only too well, this is a hard event to nail fully over four days, isn't it? Uh, like I tell anyone, uh, I think tarmac rolling is probably the hardest uh, workout for any vehicle in uh, motorsport. But um, yeah, look, hopefully it's our year. We've, um, we've kind of put the car back to stand a little bit, so hopefully it hangs in there. We've been bridesmaids a few years, so uh, yeah, both uh, Jimmy and myself, it's our seventh year, so hopefully it's lucky number seven. Matt O'Neill, back for another tilt. You were awesome last year in this machine. What's the plan this year? Uh, hopefully go a few spots better this year. Um, done a few little changes to the car, and um, it should be, uh, it's coming off quite well. So uh, yeah, aiming for, oh, I this year I like a podium, but uh, definitely in, in well in the top five this year will be the, 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 the good outcome that we'd expect. There's lots of makes and models, but there is something about the Subaru versus the Mitsubishi Evos that goes on, and you're flying the flag for the Subis, and you were the first one home last year, of course. Yes, I was, yeah, and um, the only one in the top 10, which was, uh, which was really good, like that was the aim last year, was just to make the top 10. Um, and yeah, no, I really do like the, the Subarus and uh, try to stick up these Evos as much as I can. Last year's winner in the Classics and you're back, mate. New paint scheme and everything here. New car, never mind the paint scheme, it's a whole new car. Running the same uh, mechanical gear, so underneath it feels, it drives the same, it looks identical basically mechanically, but uh, different body kit, yeah. Body kit. And look, you did a superb job last year, you have a real good tussle with these guys. You really get your teeth in this event, don't you? Ah, they're rear-wheel drive, high horsepower cars, they are just <laughs> fantastic. They're a driver's car, and that's what I like about them, you know, we just go and have, have fun. And the top drivers in the Classics do drive them very hard. You are on the limit all the time. You're not conserving, you're driving these cars the way they were built, basically. Well, that's it, we don't have any aids or anything like that, no traction control, no ABS or anything like that, and you've got to drive them hard. And the, the, the fast Classics are up there with the fast moderns as well, so they, we're, we're, we're honking along.